For nearly two months now, Stranger Things has been one of, if not the most popular show in the world. That, along with the fact that the recently retired Upside Down Lego set is going for upwards of $600 on the aftermarket, has made it abundantly clear that Lego is seriously missing out on the opportunity of making more Stranger Things sets. Which is why I've taken it upon myself to make the Stranger Things sets that Lego should have made. So join me as we take a look at the next three sets in this custom wave based off of Stranger Things Season 4, Volume 2. The first character in this video is Eleven. She uses the fin hairpiece in brown to represent the shaved head that she has, as well as an angry facial expression. She's wearing her haptic suit, so she has some gray rectangles on her torso, as well as some printing on her legs to represent that she's barefooted. Finally, she has an alternative facial expression where her eyes are closed, so you can either have her be using her powers or regaining her memories. The other figure in the first set is Dr. Martin Brenner. He uses the Captain America hairpiece in white, and he has a stern facial expression. He has a scar across the left side of his face, as well as a vest suit and some white arms. Finally, he just has some gray legs and some black shoes. The build for the set is the Nina Project, and although it's the smallest of the three in this video, it's still got some really cool details. The first part of the build is the sensory deprivation tank, and it was by far the hardest part of the set to get right. Making sure all the slopes and angles were correct and in the right places while still maintaining the scale was a serious challenge, but overall, I'm really happy with it. Also, keep in mind that there are some small wall pieces jutting out of the sides, because that'll be important in a minute. On the inside, you can have 11 lay down surrounded by the screens that help her get back her memories, two of which are currently showing static, and one of them is showing one of the hallways in Hawkins' lab. Now, if you put the tank back on the platform, you'll be able to see what the two wall pieces were for, and it's so you can show Eleven has regained her powers by sliding the tank up and down on the two beams next to it. The last part of the build for this first set is a small area where Eleven can receive medical assistance if needed. There's a small black bed, and next to it is a gray lamp, which is built using a couple of minifigure stand pieces, so you can achieve almost any angle. So, here's one last look at the build, and here's the box art that I made for the set. Now, let's move on to set number two. First up is probably my most requested character ever, Eddie Munson. He uses the Dana Barrett hairpiece in dark brown, and he has a smiling facial expression. He's wearing a same blue vest, and underneath it is the Hellfire Club shirt. He has some ripped jeans and white shoes, and finally, he has an accessory of a black guitar from the Upside Down, as well as a much more metal facial expression where his tongue is sticking out. Next up is Dustin Henderson. He uses the Hidden Side hat hood mold because I wanted to have him wearing his blue thinking cap that he wears throughout the season. He has a grinning facial expression and a gray hoodie that's covered by vines. He also has dark blue mid legs and an alternative facial expression where he's pretty sad or pretty worried. Third is Nancy Wheeler. She uses the umbrage hairpiece in brown and she has a smiling facial expression. She's wearing a white scarf as well as a red, white, and blue striped shirt. She has white pants and finally an alternate more worried facial expression. The last character in this set is Steve Harrington. He uses the Han Solo hairpiece in dark brown and he has a cocky grinning expression. He has a shirtless torso with some bandages wrapped around and some printing on his legs to show that he's barefooted. Finally, his alternative facial expression shows that he's either screaming or is about to bite off the head of a demo bat. Speaking of which, this set includes three of them, all with slight variations in their builds, but they all have a few things in common. Dark gray bodies, light gray wings, and some red to represent their mouths. There are a few side builds in the set, a couple of which are these trees that represent part of the forest that the teens run inside of to hide from the demo bats in episode 7. The other side build is also from episode 7, and it's the portal at the bottom of the lake. It has some vines that try to trap Steve, as well as a paddle on the ground that Nancy uses to fend off the demo bats. Now for the main build of the set, and it's the one that you've all been asking for, Eddie's trailer. On the roof are the speakers that Eddie uses to distract the demo bats and take them away from the Creel house as he plays Master of the Puppets on his guitar. On the porch is a couch, as well as a ladder to get up to the roof. On the other side are some windows and vines, and this wall can actually hinge open so you can take a look at the interior. The inside has two rooms, the first of which has a mattress on the ground that they land on when they go through the roof portal, some lamps, and some curtains. The other room is Eddie's bedroom, and it has a skull poster on the wall, a small bedside table with a mug on it, and a bed with the mattress on it. The last part about the interior is when you remove the roof, you can actually see the portal on the ceiling with the white rope coming out of it. Anyways, that's about all for the set. Here's the set all together, and here's the box set that I made for it. And I don't usually point out the title, but this one I really like. It's called Live from the Upside Down. Anyways, let's move on to set number three. The first character in this set is Jim Hopper. He doesn't have a hairpiece since his hair was shaved in prison, but he does still have some stubble and a mustache on his face, as well as some scratches. He's wearing a red, white, and blue striped jacket, as well as an olive green shirt under that, and some dark blue legs. Next is Joyce Byers, and she uses one of the hat hair molds from Hidden Side to represent her gray beanie, as well as her brown hair. She has a smiling facial expression, and she's wearing the same jacket as Hopper, but she has a yellow shirt underneath it instead of the olive green shirt. She uses dark gray mid-legs, and finally, she has an alternate, more angry facial expression. Third is Murray, disguised as Yuri, and he uses the balding hairpiece with some black hair on the sides. He has an excited facial expression with some gray glasses, a dark blue jacket with a yellow scarf, and some black legs and black gloves. And finally, his accessory is the flamethrower. 
Next is Dimitri, the first Russian in the set and the second figure in this video done by Jalil Briggs. He uses the older Harry Potter hairpiece and tan and he has a scratched up facial expression. He's wearing a dark blue button up jumpsuit with a collar, some pockets on the bottom of his torso, and a name tag on the right side of his chest. Now we have Yuri, disguised as Murray. He uses the older Harry Potter hairpiece once again, this time in dark brown, and he has a crazy look on his face, as well as a mustache and some stubble. He also has a large dark blue coat, dark brown boots, black gloves, and an orange and white scarf. The last figure in the set is the Demogorgon, and it's the same version that I used in my season 1 video, so go check that out if you want a more in-depth look. But basically, he's just a more detailed version of the one in the Upside Down set, and this time he's in grey. This set also comes with two demo dogs, and once again, I reused the build from my season 2 video, because honestly, I didn't think it could get better. The first build for the set is Yuri's helicopter, Katinka, and although I don't usually make vehicles, I'm getting a lot more comfortable with it, and I think this turned out really well, especially since I've never made a helicopter before, and there's never been a helicopter like this in LEGO. Anyways, it can seat two minifigures, it has two turbines, and it has six blades. Now for the main build of the set, the Russian prison. As you can see, it has two floors, and on the top floor, there's a balcony where Murray is spraying down his flamethrower. On the bottom floor is the Demogorgon pit and as you can see, Jim Hopper and the Demogorgon are currently facing off. Behind them are a couple of black doors, the ones that Hopper and Dimitri sneak behind to escape the Demogorgon at the end of Volume 1. To the left of that is the laundry room, the room where Hopper finds the Demodogs and Demogorgon and tries to lead them to the pit to be slayed by the flamethrower. In this room, there's just a washing machine and a sink. On the right side of the bottom floor is the dining room, where the Russians try to fatten up the prisoners before feeding them to the Demogorgon. This room just has a small brown table with some food and some candles on it. On the right side of the top floor is Hopper and Dimitri's cell. As you can see, it has a cell door, a small bench on the right, and a plate on the floor. On the middle of the top floor, there's not really much other than the key to all the cells. And on the left side of the top floor is the security room. As you can see, there's a clock on the wall, as well as a screen that has the security footage of the prison, and in front of that is a dark red chair. Well, here's the set altogether, and honestly, this might be my favorite one in the video. I didn't expect that since it's pretty much just a gray building, but the helicopter really adds to it, and I'm really happy with how that turned out. And here's the box art that I made for this. This video is sponsored by Minifigs.me. If you've seen my past few videos, you already know all about them, and they just sent me this brand new Eddie figure, which is just amazing. If you don't already know about Minifigs.me, they make some of the best custom minifigures on the market right now, based off of all sorts of different things, but my favorites are obviously the Stranger Things figures. If that interests you, then I highly recommend at least checking them out, and if you end up getting this Eddie figure or anything else, then make sure to use the link in the description or in the pinned comment to get 10% off any order. Well, that's about all for today's video. If you did like it, then make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. And comment down below what other videos you'd like to see me make, based off of Stranger Things or anything else. I always love reading you guys' suggestions, and they've been really helpful for brainstorming ideas for this past Stranger Things series. It's not over yet, but it is coming to a close, and I only have one or two more sets left. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this series, because I sure have. Anyways, it's been Colin, and that's all I have for you guys today, so have a great day, and go build something awesome.